Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Type and I am a Radiant Vow player, as you can see. In today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is going on my alt account, play, you know, a little bit of that diamond gameplay, plat gameplay. What I'm gonna be doing is kind of explaining, you know, and giving that educational commentary in the plays and decisions that I make as a Radiant player in these lobbies, and also kind of pointing out the mistakes and decision making that players in these lobbies do which i believe most of the people watching this video might be around this rank or a little bit lower i'm going to be just kind of just saying the stuff that's going through my mind the setups anything that i do really i'll be explaining it and if i do something wrong or if uh, i see someone doing something wrong on my team or if i see that the other team is making a weird play or something like that i'll point that out and i'll explain why that's wrong or why or how you can kind of fix that for your gameplay to get better and rank up match found so we got icebox clove solo might not be the best just because like clove doesn't offer as much coverability as like viper for example the viper wall is widely used to you know cover that a line have the orb towards b you know kind of like that default setup honestly i could go for viper here and we have double controller and then just have jet solo and if this guy locks in chamber i think this is not bad i just don't think close solo is the best you can still run with it and be like completely fine you know it's just i i feel like viper on this map is the most optimal just because you know you have the wall to cover a and you're on the other side of the map you call hey call for wall boom you put up wall for your team on the other side yeah i'm unlocking viper here this is a good comment it has everything covered so so even this guy's saying double smoke w <laughs> if you also look at it too viper could be kind of used like a sentinel kind of just because she has a lot of ability to like hold the line and like you know delay a lot of stuff so like post plant holding down the site because sometimes if you really think about it even though it just decays your health when you go through the wall or orb, people are scared of that. It, you don't really think about it, but like, people are scared of the orb and the wall from Viper because it decays their health and they're like, oh, I don't want my health to be decayed. Like, I don't want to lose that little bit of health. For some reason, people are scared. I'm putting my wall up for B default. Everyone. Yeah, this uh, wall for B is honestly really well used just because like it is a, um, I'm gonna go with my team here. It is kind of like making them think that, oh, we might be going B or something. And so they don't rotate as fast. So if you have like double smoke like this, definitely put up your wall for B side because Clove can smoke up for A side like very easily. Yeah, I'm just gonna scale up with my team here. One enemy remaining. Nice. Yeah, I was just fighting with I was fighting with my teammates there as much as I can. Notice how I didn't plant the bomb because I want to help out my jet. Make sure she's not taking ones. Just basically kind of two v oneing every fight there is probably the best bet you could possibly do. You know, I still got the plant down after I got plant down, got the plant money. So every round. I'm just gonna keep putting up this wall. It goes like it's basically just a regular default B wall. This is really good for um, for just taking B site. Revealing so I was gonna dart. Maybe he drones? Any droners? Does he have drone? Hello? No, no drone. Just scaling up with my team. I'm gonna try to like play behind my team a little bit. Oh, well up. Spamming the smokes just in case like someone's hiding in there. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mean to get that kill, but I got it. What's going down? What's going down? Also, yeah, always try to communicate your your juice and everything that you have for Viper. Because, like, people sometimes don't know and they play in the middle of everything. If you call out that, hey, the wall's going down, it is super helpful for your teammates. Put your wall back up. And then vice versa. If you put it in the They're asking for the wall to be put down. That's really good. I'm just helping my teammates out here. I'm kind of playing for post plant here, so I'm staying a little bit back. Nice. I'm just playing a little bit of post plant there, just kind of secure the round, right? And also, I have Vandal too, so I don't really want to lose my Vandal. So I just play back a little bit there. Just chill. For bonus here, since I have Vandal and I didn't lose any armor, I'm low key going to save some of my money and just stay on light armor. Just because the enemy team already have the money to buy, basically. So if they buy Vandals, I'm going to be one shot headshot already. So if you didn't lose any armor, I think keeping the, the 25 armor here and not spending the extra 1000 for the heavy armor is really good for bonus oh shoot i forgot to put wall down for b-side but i think that's okay we got a little aggro here 
I'm just kind of playing like a little bit like duelist here. It is bonus round, so I have the ability to kind of like do that a little bit. Throw a molly. Oh wait, that's a fire molly. I've never done that actually. Five glove. Yeah, we could go back B and then I put wall up. Uh, it looks like they called out that there was four there. We're gonna rotate back to B. I'll put on my wall this time too. I'm gonna wall up now. Yeah, they're rotating already. Toxins going up. One boiler. Uh, let's go with my team here. No one's snowman. Uh, give me bomb. Actually, yeah. I'm playing your help. Two snow. Oh, there's like two snowmen. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wall's gonna go down. One mid. One mid. He crossed over. Flank. Do I spawn? One flank. They're calling out that one's oh, flank. So I'm holding flank snowman, here. I'm pretty sure. One enemy remaining. Flank. Could have timing me. Oh. Nice. So someone called out flank and I just my whole team is already pushed up and everything So I just take the the thing that's not being watched there, right? I take the thing that's not being watched and just hold it and that got me a free kill And then notice the position that I had I was like right here This guy has so many angles to worry about that he clears that last So definitely being in a spot there where you're kind of like an off angle is the best spot possible All right, I'm gonna put a mid orb now What I like to do for the mid orb is go on top of this arrow mid right here before the round starts aim right here at the bottom Bottom left of this container and just left click. Left click right there and the orb is up mid. It covers all of mid right here. It's a really good uh, little mid orb if you want to guys want to use that. You can just pop that whenever if you want to go mid later. That's like up to you. Yeah, he respoked it again. He's probably close. I'm gonna try to bait my team. I don't want to really entry here. Oh my god, he was in the smoke. I'm just kind of like waiting for my team to push up a little bit. And then I go. Oh, Molly the smoker. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my Trains. team here. Kind of like trade out. Scanning ahead. Uh, I'm kind of just holding for backside here, and like kind of like the this off angle right here is really good, just because like when they do swing out this way, they have to worry about all. They have to worry about this angle, the angle on top, the angle over here towards Jen. Usually, when you are over there, you're looking towards Jen, so having that off angle is really good. Like, dude, in this game, using off angles as much as you can is gonna be so much more helpful because you don't even need that aim as long as you have the crosser placement and everything. Your your off angles will be perfect and flawless. Just try to abuse off angles a lot more. It is so good, especially in this elo. People don't know about off angles that much, but it's kind of kind of like why I'm explaining to you because most of the people watching or that are going to watch this video are in this rank. So you know this is pretty good. I'm gonna lurk mid here. So this round, I'm just gonna lurk mid, pop up the orb, and I just you know go with Toxins it a little bit. Oh, they well too. Put wall down. down and put orb down. Let my juice recharge a little bit, and then once I can put the orb up again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ah, walk up again. 80. Hey, come back, me guys, come back, me. She's here. All right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take space here. Now that I killed the sage, I know both are towards A. So I'm gonna jiggle here. They're probably gonna be rotating now. I don't think they've rotated just yet. One could be boiler too. One enemy remaining. Could be boiler. Or could be a mid already. I have no idea where this guy is, so I have to kind of like I don't know where clear. The fuck this guy is. Yeah, it could be anywhere. So now since we don't know where he is, we kind of just have to slow walk everywhere and see where Sounds he is. Tight. Okay. Need a fuse? No. No, no, no. I, I have it. You can just run, like, run if you want. Yeah, you so I, I, right here, I'm just not going to show presence because he has to tap the bomb. So I'm just going to let him do that and not give him any opportunity to kill me here and leave it to a 1v1. I think this is the best play possible. He's not yeah. going for it. He's saving. Oh. I'm still going to slow walk here so he doesn't hear me. I don't think I died a bomb here. Still snow. All right. <laughs> so he decided to save an op, but I killed him. <laughs> he still has op here. So I'm gonna just keep doing the setup for for the attack side. I'm gonna do the wall towards B. I'm just gonna say, don't start talking trash now. Remember, it's just a game. Okay. Yeah, just keep doing the wall towards B, and then the the mid orb is will like make him think a lot. Uh, it's just really good for for kind of like map control. Oh my god. Yeah, I just started to kind of like hold the space here. Three, I three. Yeah, just run B, run B. Chamber could be towards... Oh, no, he's towards A. So yeah, it looks like we saw three oh, towards A, so no, we, we make the range. call. We make the call to just run B here, because we know there's like at They're least right. one towards B. You had your fun. My turn. Is it both of them there? One yeah. enemy remaining. Yeah. yeah, my teammates are just doing work mid. So I like it how my clove know, the did the yeah. double smoke towards A. And it made the A players, the A like enemy team, think that we're going A. That's good. It made the enemy team that we're going A, and so they had three there. They tell their team to rotate over, and the people uh, walking up mid on my orb and me 
walking up here the jet even tried to flank there and me catching him off guard because they thought we were going a me catching him off guard there ma made him think like oh shoot they're not, not going a so we kind of like faked it we caught them off guard and we made the call to go b because we got the kills towards mid and b side you know what i mean even though not, we're not really calming it like everyone kind of knows what to do a little bit so even if you're a little bit late to no, setting up your util like you can still kind of like in the general area but my whole team is going b so i'm just gonna go b no, I have ult here, so give me bomb. I'll ult. Sure. Spike dropped. Oh, I might get spammed here. Joke's over. You're dead. I'm all in right now. He ran through. That's kind of stupid. Uh -oh. I might be on it. No, not sure, not sure. Damn. They they kind of overwhelmed us there. I ulted. I planted the bomb. I think what I should have done better there is just run away from the Phoenix ult. Because he just ran through my molly. That probably wasn't the best play that I, that I did. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just ran away. But it's okay. I mean, it's only one round that we lost. And just remember, every round, just make sure to always come here. Put the wall up here. And then keep doing your setup. Make sure not to like forget that, you know? Usually when you are playing Viper solo on this map, you don't want to do it every round because if you're doing like a full A hit, you want to like put the wall for A side, you know? But since we do have a clove, like I think it's fine. I think it's completely fine. I'm going to stay a little bit mid here and kind of just like see what I can work with. I'm going to hold under tube here. This is a really good off angle here. Four here. Because four. Four. Rotate, 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 rotate. I'm put orb up. So my, I see my teammates crossing. Okay, okay. Reloading. Yeah, just run away. So, since you. my teammates are crossing, my teammates are crossing, I'm gonna keep holding the orb. Uh, I'm, gonna, here. I'm gonna keep holding this just because, like, I want them to cross, but I'm holding in case if they try to make a crazy play and, like, run outside the orb or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. Going up. Oh, one's flaking me. Toxin screen down. Squashed. Nah, uh, just kind of, like, go through mid here. It's not planted for me, but I have some pressure that i could create oh, well, up. i'm gonna start scaling up here so i can help my teammate one enemy remaining where is this guy Last player <laughs> my club vaulted just to get the kill but if you guys saw there i basically kind of lurked like mid there with the orb that orb helps out so much because the t or the enemy team is trying to think where is this viper where are the lurkers like they don't see me and i'm in such a good spot like if i hear one flanking and they're running i'm able to pick them off and catch them off guard because they don't hear me obviously and i hear them like full running and they don't like unless they full clear you that's the only way like you can be contested but if they don't fully clear you it's a free kill for you and then if you play that late game post plant like oh my god it's just perfect dude like, that, that that's just perfect they could run through this orb this time watch out i'm just calling to my teammate that he's watching mint this time they could run through the orb I'm putting the orb down Oh. Our teammates scaled up A. I guess he like kind of avoided the dart. The chamber avoided the dart, was able to get into Ness. He got into Ness, got two of us. We're just unlucky. We just kind of need to be aware, or my teammates need to be aware. I'm not with them there, but they just need to be aware that, hey, it's possible one could be a Ness. Should we check that, you know? Oh. But nothing too crazy. It's okay. It's all good. Here, uh, let's go A again. And then someone spam, like maybe the, yeah. the Ness, like. Zipline part. Yeah, yeah. So like there's a way that if you run up belt right here yeah. and they're like going yeah. down the zipline right here, you can kind of spam through nest and get get damage on them. It's a really good kind of like counter strat on that. I'm gonna go with my teammates here again, kinda just like five man this. Uh, watch out, it could be in this one. Sure. What was uh, I'm just gonna fight with my teammates here, kind of like just 2v1 stuff, trying not to give one, two. Uh, our flight trip's down, so watch out for that. Oh, they're, they're I should have one screen, one heaven. Yeah, I'm gonna play like I'll put you here. He still has flashes, watch out. One enemy remaining, enemy spotted A, kind of just holding, just fighting. Oh. Nice, good job. Grab a skin. That was a little iffy there. Uh, just because like that tick was kind of weird. I didn't really realize that we we're gonna like full take it, and we just went. I just followed. No one's really 
common that hey let's go but it's okay like we're all we're all like just following each other kind of trading each other out so if that's what's happening and you guys don't really have to comment as long as you're trading each other out and working together i think that's best but always calming what you're doing and everything although it might be more of a chore it's always better but if you guys are you know up rounds and it's working it's ranked it's all good you're not playing this for money i'll go mid with my jet here wow i couldn't even see his head dude I'm done. so the phoenix was just holding from two there a weird head glitch type angle but like it was hard to see him there he got he got me so like hey, he had the angle i didn't see him and then when i tried shooting i whiffed as well so like it's all good uh chamber and silver one hp uh so it's just you with full hp Reloading. oh god scary angle <laughs> ah, i don't know about that she okay so like for the clove cliff kind of put herself like in a in a weird spot Enemy in a spot right. where like it's kind of like a one and done spot you're not really safe unless you're in the tucked in the corner and then they can use like utility on you and i don't think I don't think that's like the best thing. Up. Oh, he's saving, saving the up. So like whenever you're in a spot like that where your mid, teammates are mid, low mid. HP and you're kind of the one with full HP, you don't want to do that just because you are giving away your life there. And you're also putting yourself in a bad spot. If you're going to go yeah, for that play, like it's fine. It's ranked, right? But if you're going to go for that play, at least be smart about it and, and make sure you can get out. Half. If you put yourself like under heaven there, like under the rafters, you're stuck there. You can, If you try to get out, they're swinging you and killing you. Just like what happened right but if you're on the left side there where bomb was planted basically you're in a safe spot and able to get out very easily and fight with your team or play post plant so i think that's a lot better than what the club did but i mean my my other teammates flush it out so it's all good it is all goody in the hoodie right, we're gonna keep doing the same setup here putting the orb up before i cross just in case if they're opping under tube or bottom tube here and then put my orb down all right push up here on my teammates out Enemy marked. We're just kind of scale here. We're down numbers, so we kind of have to go crazy and get active a little bit. There's another op here, by the way. Spike down A. Op in the screen. Ended. Oh my god. Actually, Joke's over! You're dead! I have the spike. Toxins going up. Wait, what is happening? I I'll explain what I'm doing after, because. Phoenix down. Toxin screen. One enemy remaining. Okay. Last player standing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the yawn is crazy. Switching sides. <laughs> All right, so basically there we were down numbers. So when you're usually down numbers, like as anyone, you could be Viper, you could be any agent in the in the comp or whatever. You want to go for those plays. You want to swing everything and kind of just like try to get your numbers to be even. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm a radiant player, so like I have my mechanics are good, so like I know what I'm doing. And especially against these players, like they are like less mechanically skilled than me and like this and that not to brag or anything but like it's just like it's, it is what it is that's why like i don't really like smurfing but i wanted to make this video you know to kind of showcase what you get, like what to do but you know in, in a situation like that you just want to go crazy oh, I, uh, yeah, I explain i'll explain the setup that i have here while i rotate if they go away oh wait viper you can wall b next round i'll, I'll smurf okay it's kind of hard to explain my setup when, when i'm trying to figure out what's going on here uh, right, that's two two. yeah I'm gonna just stay on B. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scale up here. So the orb that I just did is a little one way towards here, right? One enemy. That one way is super helpful. Spike is fucking pipes. Okay, you can back up and let her play if you want. So to you. I'll be coming back to you. Yeah. That orb that you saw me place at the beginning of the round, I put that for the one way. So if they come B, I one way it, one and one ways are really <laughs> like really useful against like players, like any any type of player, uh, just because like. You could see them first and they can't see you. I just saw our mid, I saw our mid, I saw our mid. I'm okay, uh, I'm we're in kitchen. We're in kitchen? Okay. I'm gonna go through mid. Spike planted. Nice, good up. What the fuck? And so like this one right here, what you could do 
is like just play kind of like you see them first you see their legs you can shoot and spam through the smoke and then for the wall the clove told me not to put wall for a anymore because she can easily smoke over there so i'm gonna change up my wall and put a wall for b side here but usually this is what the wall you want to do when you don't have like a second controller or whatever you put a wall kind of like for for the splitting site and then you say hey call for wall when you guys need it for when they come you know towards uh a side or whatever and you could do that from across the map you could play on b and still do the same thing i'm gonna keep doing this one way all i do is just kind of like stand in this general area and then just jump right click that's all you have to do i'm gonna say my wall here because i honestly don't know what wall to use since i don't really have the opportunity to have a clove on the other side like this so i'm gonna just save my wall here i could i can maybe do like a different wall right now but hopefully this guy has booty covered uh, there's really nothing B. I'm gonna keep holding it just in case like there is a, a late lurk unless they see One both. enemy remaining. My teammates are goaded, so they're just both. owning. Yeah, yeah, he's over there. <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh, one wall I like to do is kind of like line up with like this part right here and line up the yellow container with the green container and kind of just like look up, just put it up like this. So when they come up B. You can put the wall like this and it's kind of covering the left side and the right side too or you could also do it like horizontally the same thing i'm gonna do light armor since i didn't lose any armor here and it's last round anyway but like it's fine oh shoot i put wall again for it <laughs> okay okay i put the wall a every time that it's just habit there like i just literally did it out there out of habit but if if you don't need to put wall towards a you could just line up with yellow here and then just put the wall like that and it's the same thing uh you're covering left side and right side here i'm gonna put the orb again here Hopefully I don't miss. Good orb. My chamber's gonna be holding it, so I'm gonna kind of leave here a little bit. Kind of hold mid. So I'm gonna leave my chamber on the line over there and kind of just work towards mid here. Uh, oh shoot! There's one more two. One more two. So he droned down mid. I was gonna clear out two because his drone couldn't clear out two. Luckily I was able to get one, but there was two in there. Actually three in there. Yeah, no, I just got tapped, dude. But I was able to get one at least. That was just kind of tough. Enemy so remaining. Oh, wow. down mid. But yeah, no, that setup though, having the wall towards A like this and then having the orb like that, I you playing towards B or mid is a really good okay. setup. You can you play retake with way. that, you can so play on site with that. And I think it's just really good. So yeah, definitely use that in your games if you're ever playing Viper. If you are a Viper player and you know lineups too, I personally don't have lineups on Viper because like I'm not really a lineup type of player. I'm more of like, hey, let's try to get that positioning. It's just like a different playstyle type character or like me, my type of place that was more like okay let's let's get in there and shoot people like not not back up be some pussy and like play lineups not offending to any of the lineup players but you get what i'm saying but if you have lineups and you play like that that is completely fine if that's your play style definitely go for that but definitely include some of these play styles that i had on attack and defense i wish i could have shown more of defense but my teammates were kind of dominating but yeah let me know what you guys think of the viper uh commentary there if you guys want to see any other agents let me know in the comments below and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe hopefully everything was kind of like detailed if i'm missing anything let me know just let me know any concerns or any anything you guys want me to improve on in the comments and i'll keep on improving them for any next commentary that i have but i appreciate everyone watching hopefully y'all enjoyed and as i always say always drink water always stay epic i'll see you guys in the next video too